Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You know, I'm really getting the sense that there's a masculine energy who has just been, they've spent a lot of time thinking back on how they um, played you before. I mean, they're, they're really realizing now um, just how bad they must have hurt you here. And I feel like whatever they did, it's changed you collective. I feel like at one point you were open to this person. You were loving, you were caring, you were kind, you were giving, you trusted them. Okay, um, you really wanted this connection, but now you you are not talking anymore. There's something different about you. And I feel like um, this person knows just how deeply they wounded you. Okay, I, I feel like it, it, you're just not speaking. You're not um, you're not accepting of them anymore. You know, uh, you may not trust this person anymore. You've got your boundaries up here. And I feel like there's just been such a big change from the one who was so easy to, you know, like it, you were, you gave your trust easily to this person. You were open with them. You, you wanted to share with them, you know, this was a very close connection here too. Um, but you're just not the same person anymore. You're not. This whole ordeal has changed you. Uh, yes, it's made you stronger, but in their eyes, man, their best friend is gone. Okay, you're just not the same. And they're realizing here it's because of how they treated you, man. This is cause and effect. Yeah, and not only that, but I feel like they it took them too long to come back in and try to heal this with you. They're realizing here... Um, that this is this whole thing has changed you to the point where you're just a different person now and i feel like this is yeah and that's that's what this is right um this solid connection or this is too many cards a really strong connection somebody who is loving nurturing kind open trusting generous okay caring giving okay that's the Queen of Cups energy. And at one point, man, I feel like this is somebody you were so close to. Like, you could have felt that you were like their best friend or they felt that you were like their best friend. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius here, Gemini, Scorpio. You could be a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. Um, but yeah, it's not the same. When they lost you in this connection, I feel like they spent so much time apart that they thought that maybe they could pick up where they left off later or that this was never going to change you. You would always be this loving person. Not anymore. You're not anymore. And that's what's, um, man, your person feels really bad about this because you've changed. You're not, you're not like, I'm not your friend. I'm not your lover. You know, this person ignored you. And you're, it's changed you. Yeah, you're focused on yourself now. You're in this boss energy, okay? <laughs> you could be, um, you could be a Virgo. You could have started a creative project that's uh, becoming a big success. Um, I've been in the sense this person doesn't even really know how to talk to you anymore, okay? Or maybe they're just in and out, you know? This doesn't even have to be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member, okay? Um, they may come to see you, and you don't have anything to say. You know, you really don't have much to say to them here. And you're like, well, I got to go back to work, or I'm focused on something else right now. Uh, but this is somebody who comes in, and they leave. They come in, and they leave. And you know what? You've just changed. You, you don't want some in and out energy anymore. You want people who are going to be committed to you. You don't want any more game players. You don't want people that think they can treat you however they want with no consequences. You don't want that anymore. You know, you're busy here. And I feel like you're just focused on the things that make you happy. And it may be a business. You know, your job and what you're doing for money or your project, that's what's making you happy. 
you know, I feel like you're sinking into that, okay? And that, um, that very open, I'll be there for you no matter what kind of energy, that sweet energy, it just is, it's, it feels like it's kind of gone right now. At least with this person, you're not treating them the same way. You may not have anything to say to them or talk to them about. Okay, and like I said, this doesn't have to be an ex. It could be friends, family, co-workers, you know. This person could, if it is an ex, they could have used you. But I'm just seeing this as in and out energy, really quick visits or something like that. It's almost like this person didn't, they stopped having time for you. Or, or they, they stopped communicating with you altogether, or they stopped doing things with you. So you started focusing on the things that you had, and now um, you're a success, and that's what's making you happy. And this person is really sad about it, okay? They are. They're really sad. They don't, they don't know how to get back into that loving space in your heart, right? They could have caused a lot of fights for you in the background. People could be talking about you behind your back, fighting, blaming you, right? There's a lot of chaos being caused here. Either this person kept fighting with you in the past or, um, I, yeah, I feel like it's other people talking about you, blaming you. And I feel like this person knows about it too. Then why aren't they defending you? You know what I mean? If it's other people that are, like, trash-talking you and stuff, why aren't they defending you then? You know, so you're, I feel like you're just not giving your love to this anymore. You know, I get the sense that you, this is somebody that you may see off and on. Okay, so it's giving me the vibe of it may not be an ex. It could be a friend or a family member. All right, but, um... You're not giving to the fights anymore. You know that um, you can sense that there's people talking about you. There's gossip about you. There's blame being put on you. People criticizing you, picking away at you. Okay, and I'm getting the sense that you just don't even care anymore. You just don't even care anymore. And if this person cared at all about how this situation has changed you, they would be defending you. I don't really see this person defending you, okay? I really don't. You know, they're not really saying anything. They're just looking at you like you've changed, okay? Ah, here they are. Maybe they are defending you behind the scenes, but it's not changing the fact that, you know, um, I feel like they've blown it. Here's the thing, everything that they've said to you, everything that they've done, right? This in and out energy, taking advantage of you, whatever this is, right? I feel like it's all been too much. It has changed you. And they, they may want this ten of, pen, uh, ten of Cups back. This could be family. This very well could be family. Maybe they, you know, they remember a time when you could have been happy or they remember a time when... Um, when you were very close, it could be something like that, okay? This is was somebody that you were very, very close to. It's making me want to cry. I don't know why that is. They're crying over this. Guys, I don't, this isn't my energy, so I don't know what this is. But there's been too much done to you, okay? There's been too much done. And uh, now you're just, it's made you stronger, but it's, um, it's taken, they, they feel like they're never going to see that sweet open side to you again. And it's making me feel horrible. This person feels horrible. Oh my gosh, I'm getting choked up. This person feels terrible. They know the way they treated you in the past has caused them this. It's all coming back on them. Because you're out here happy. <laughs> You're out here happy, high-vibing, abundant, working on a business, you know. And I don't think there's, I feel like they want to try everything they can to change this around. But quite frankly, I don't think they're going to see that side to you again. And and they don't either. The, you know, um, they, they're feeling kind of shattered by that with uh, 
with the Ten of Swords and the Tower out here. So I, I'm getting the sense this is family, maybe. And I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of strife and chaos and gossip about you behind the scenes. But yeah, maybe they are defending you, sticking up for you. But it's not making much of a difference. Because already too much has been has been done. And if this person, whoever this is, if they've been in and out of your life, you know, sure, they'll come to visit you for what? Five minutes at a time? You know, that connection is, I mean, they pr they've basically pushed you away maybe, or they've let this thing just slip to the point where you're just not the same. You've changed. And, and you're focused on other things. And I feel like this person feels very defeated. They want this. They want their Ten of Cups back, the happiness that they had with you. But all they're getting is the Ten of, of Swords. Everything they've done is coming back on them. And if, they, if this is somebody who comes over to visit you occasionally, could be a family member, man, they see it. They see it. You know, you may not even have much to say to this person. You know, nor do you have time for these quick visits for them to just be in and out. Oh, it's really sad, guys. It's, it's sad for this person. They want to apologize to you here, but, you know, I don't think you're going to, maybe you won't even listen. Or, you know, this could be something like, well, thank you for the apology, but, you know, thanks. I feel like you just don't have much to say to this person anymore. It's almost like they push themselves right out of your life. And they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. I feel like you're going to get um, a lot of communication from this person here. Um, they're pretty stuck in their mind about this, okay? And um, they don't want to see this friendship or this connection or this family relationship. They don't want to see it gone. They want to continue to hold on, you know. But I feel like you're just done. You're, you're so quiet. There's like barely any communication here. And I feel like this is somebody who, who comes back around to visit you or something like that. But man... You know, it's just not the same. Collective, it's just not the same. Um, yeah, so you may not even have much to say to them, you know? And you may even see whatever they're saying to you, it's fake. Whatever they're coming across to you as it's fake. You know, um, say they're trying to tell you about, you know, how much fun they had. And yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome for you. I got to go back to work. I got other things I'm focused on. That's how this is going. I'm getting the sense that this person could be very younger, like much younger than you too, coming in as a page of cups and a knight. This could be somebody young. They want to rebuild this with you. They, they want you to know that they're ready to be solid for you now. They want to try to make this stable again. Okay? Because really, seriously, you're barely speaking to this person. And I, I feel like they're very much still in your energy, like you still see this person from time to time, or, you know, they've got that in and out. Yeah. They want to make something solid with you again, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same. All right, so what else can you show me here? Toxic energy. I feel like this person may, um, they may be in a toxic connection too. I feel like this person, they're trying to figure out some kind of option of how to open you up again. Okay? How, because they do want to be solid for you here. And this person's in a lot of regret because they realize they sabotage this connection. They've watched you cry. They've watched you hurt. You could have even... Um, warn this person, look, we're, we're going to lose a relationship or we're going to lose what we've got going on here if, 
if you don't treat me better. You know what I mean? You could have told them. And I feel like they ignored it. They didn't really care. They just watched you be upset. They're in a lot of regret for that now. They're in a lot of regret for that now. This could totally be somebody way younger than you. Okay? Very immature energy. They just wanted to go and do whatever they wanted. Play little games. Be immature. Man, now they don't know what to do. Now they don't know what to do because you have changed and they don't know if they're going to get this situation back or not. This could have been going on for up to three years. They've turned their back on you. You know, I mean, they just, I feel like um, they just kind of ignored the situation to the point where you're just not the same. That loving energy of all of this water, it's gone. They don't know how to get it back. They don't know if they'll ever be able to get it back. And you don't have a whole lot to say left to this person. I'm getting the sense it's not a lover or an ex. I feel like it's family or a friend. Okay? And you two are close. It's making me want to cry, Collective. Okay? It's making me want to cry. Um, and I don't want to do that on YouTube. So, yeah. Now this, whoever this is, I feel like it is a masculine energy. I, I worry about that. Yeah, I feel it's a masculine energy here. Yeah, but look, look at how sad you are. I feel like you are very sad. This ocean here, this sea, that's all your tears that you've cried over this person. Like, I really feel like you warned them or you told them that they were hurting you or something. I mean, you know... And it, it's almost like they didn't even listen, you know? It was completely ignored. And, um, yeah, you're moving forward here. You're moving on. Go into calmer waters. You know, you just want your peace. I, I just feel you just wanting to be alone to work on whatever it is that's making you actually happy. Okay? Um, clearing out the energy, you guys. Yeah. You don't want to feel sad anymore, you know. You don't want to be confused over this person anymore, you know. I mean, you want somebody who's going to give to you too, okay? And I feel like you gave this person so much love too, and now it's just dry. Look at you gave them so much love, all of this water, and now it's there's no water, okay? You went from the Queen of Cups to clearing this energy out. Yeah, you're walking away from this here. And it's sad. It's really sad because this is somebody you were very close to. It feels like a best friend kind of situation, okay? Yeah, it's time to go. I, I feel like you got, you, you love this person, but you've got no more to give, okay? Because you're not getting anything back, really. Um, yeah, they they want to start over with you though. Here, they want to they want to apologize. They're going to extend an olive branch here and hope for a new beginning with you. Okay, but you're already on your way out. I feel like you're already making future plans that don't include them. Oh man, it's really sad, you guys. This reading makes me want to cry. And I feel like now, you know, you're you're at peace with this. I feel like this, it feels to me like acceptance, okay? You're accepting that things just are not the same. You're accepting that this person, you're going to, you're, you're releasing them and, and walking away, okay? They may be doing all that they can to apologize and try to get this connection back to where it was before, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, so what else can you show me here? Yeah, I, I'm getting the sense that you've got new things coming for you in the future, okay? You're going to be gifted here. Um, you're releasing and surrendering this to the divine to do what they will with. And they're about to give you a blessing like something new is coming for you. You're already making these plans for the future. 
because this person, they just kept turning their back on you or kept their back turned. And you know what? Yeah, I feel like um, they are going to try. They're going to try to repair the damages, okay? But I feel like the damages have already been done. There's just been too much done. You've changed, and they see it, and they are hurting over this, let me tell you.